I was called Howie the Harp because uh, when I was on the streets, one of the ways that I made money was by playing the harmonica. I was a street musician. And uh, people started calling me Howie the Harp, and it kind of stuck. So that's my name. I kind of like the name because it gives me the same middle name as a lot of famous people in history, like uh, Ivan the Terrible, Richard Lionhearted, and Winnie the Pooh. This is the tools of my trade, or the tool of my trade. in thinking oh, support through housing. supportive yeah. housing, right. which is now, you know, next to an oh. evidence-based practice. But I remember right. him oh. insisting, and I still got the buttons to prove it, that it was about housing and not health. Most homeless people are fiercely independent. Uh, Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. But the vast majority of people who have psychiatric histories are homeless because they were incarcerated in a mental hospital and before they were they had a home and, and during that time your S if you're getting SSI, you lose your SSI once you're in an institution for more than a calendar month. Since you lost the SSI and you have no other income, you have no way of paying the rent. So wherever it is you're living is lost. And uh, most of the people that come to this program won't go to any other program. This is the only one that they'll go to because this is the only one that they trust. Because it's run by people like them very often. It's the people working here are people that they knew out when they were out on the streets. April 24th, 1992. Dear Peter, I find I am increasingly homesick for New York City. I long for the dirty, gritty, and tense, and real people on streets I knew and loved and hated. This must be proof of my insanity. Dear Howie, I would like to create a new position called Director of Advocacy. Advocacy is a key part of the mission of our agency. The concrete that I set my decision in to move to New York City in October of this year has hardened. We look forward to seeing you in the fall, if sincerely, not Howie sincerely, sincerely, Steve Coe. The solution is independent living because these folks want to live in their own places. And I believe that it should be a person's right, it should be a basic human right to have a decent place to live. So young, but he had lived a whole life in that time. He didn't waste a minute. He didn't waste a minute. I think he would say, uh, well done. Well done. Well done, Green. <laughs> we are people like everybody else, and that when you're homeless, you've got pro that anybody would experience these problems when they're homeless, that anybody can become homeless. The New York Times, February 14th, 1995. Howard Geld, 42 advocate for the mentally ill dies. Howard Geld, known as Howie the Harp to the mentally ill and homeless to whom he committed his life after spending time in institutions for the emotionally disturbed while a teenager, died on February 5th in his home in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. He was 42.